Hello, it's Ozymatic here, back at it again with another 3 minute tutorial. Today I'm going to cover some more advanced but simple tweaks Ryzen users can do in the BIOS to gain a significant bump in performance in both gaming and productive workloads. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, first up, if you want to evaluate performance gains or losses with a CPU, a great tool is Cinebench R20. From what I can find, it's no longer available in a bootable variant, so I've linked it down below in the description for you to download. This is not a necessary step, but it's a great way of measuring any performance losses or gains. Once you've downloaded the file, just extract it and run the Cinebench.exe. Once the program is loaded up, go to the top left, click File, click Keep Best Score. This will keep track of any high scores so you don't have to. So now we're good to go, so we're just going to click run and let the benchmark complete. On the left you can see some CPU scores of various CPUs. Alternatively, to better know how yours is performing, a quick Google of your CPU with R20 score after it will return some numbers for comparison. Once the benchmark is completed, you'll see your score on the left. Now comes the tricky bit if you've never done it before. We need to boot the computer into BIOS. To do this, shut down your PC, power it back up again and then during post, press delete or the F2 key. It depends on your motherboard. Again, a quick Google of your motherboard will let you know exactly what you need to do. Okay, we're now in the BIOS. You're likely greeted by a less advanced BIOS screen. We need to switch it into advanced mode. For me, it is F7. For you, it is likely the same. Once we're in advanced mode, head over to the tab called Tweaker, Overclocking, or something along those lines. Again, depending on your motherboard, you will need to enable XMP or DOCP mode. This on a lot of newer motherboards is an automatic process, but I like to select it to make sure. The two modes are the same, one is made by AMD, one is made by Intel. It really depends on the RAM you bought, but the functionality is exactly the same. So once that's set, we're just going to go to the XMP or DOCP profile selection. Select profile 1 or the profile that outlines the specification of your RAM. Okay, now we're going to go over to the Advanced tab. Scroll down to AMD Overclocking. Accept the terms and conditions. And scroll down to Precision Boost Overdrive. Once we're here, we're going to set to advanced mode. I recommend you set the precision boost override limit to your motherboard specification. We're going to set precision boost clock override to 200 megahertz. Now we're going to go back to the AI tweaker tab, scroll down, precision boost overdrive, and finally set the PBO Fmax enhancer to enabled, precision boost drive to enabled, and the max CPU boost clock to 200 or whatever your max is. Finally, hit F10, OK to save the settings, and reboot back into Windows. Once we are back in Windows, relaunch Cinebench R20 and see the results. I managed to net a nice healthy 300 point increase, but I was also curious how it affected my games. So I ran a benchmark before and after in Siege, and I went from an average FPS of 244 to 277 with these tweaks. Now your results will vary from game to game, but it seems pretty good if you ask me. I highly recommend that if you find any of these settings hard to find that you go look for more specific guides to your motherboard. This is just a general overview of what can be achieved through some simple tweaks. So this is Ozzy Maddox signing off, glad to net you some more free FPS, bye bye.